A long trek across the desert of northeastern Niger brings visitors to one of the most astonishing and rewarding sights in the Sahel. Fortified villages of salt and clay built on rocks, besieged by the Sahara sands. Some symbolic site of the ancient city as they used for traditional ceremonies. What's really missing today is tourism, really, and as a result the community does not take advantage of this place, given the insecurity that is there. Jado lies in Kawa Osis region, about 1,300 kilometers from the capital near Nienijis, deeply troubled border with Libya. This fort was built, I don't know, I can't tell you the exact date, but we can still estimate it to be over 200 years. And they knew well in the old days that with the raid, so it was Tuaregs earlier or Arabs who came to raid the village. So people had no other solutions, nowhere else. The mayor is careful when speaking about the local history, acknowledging the many gaps in knowledge. History says that the Xa of Jado was built by the Kurds, no, the Turks, the work of Turkey. It was after we had the Sao. The Sao, after we had the talks. Then coming in a third position was the cavalry. Since 2006, Jado was languished on the tentative list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites.